Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is Helton's Computer Repair here with another quick tutorial. On this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to do not display that less. Sign in username in the screen pretty much in Windows 10. Now pretty much what it is, is when we go to the start menu, and we're gonna pretend like we're going to sign out, and we're gonna go ahead and heck with it, log out just to show you this. Um, you'll come to this screen or something similar. It will show what the current last user that's here. Now it happens if you had multiple users and it would probably would show a big list on that side right here too. And it will pretty much be a little pain if you don't want them to be able to know that they are there from last user who's logged in. Now this may vary depending if you're like in a university or something like that because they do have features where they can actually can hide that feature for showing last users. It's for security reasons why they do not show the last users that are there. But in case you need to enable it or if you just want to learn about it, this is how we're going to do this. So let me go ahead and just sign back in and show you how to hide the last user login. Let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing we're going to do is pretty simple. Um, we're pretty much to do this option in case you have a user that currently has a Windows 10 like Pro or Enterprise. They pretty much have this ability that allows it to have this default settings so we can go to just local security policy to get to this okay it's pretty simple it'll be the first option that will make it easy if you can do like this so we can go to start and what we're gonna look for is just called local security policy and it, it automatically started coming up I misspelled it but it came up still this is what we're gonna see and this is what we're gonna look for now we'll get to this point right here I'm actually gonna go ahead and just expand this for you it pretty much still looks the same we're then going to go to local policies and then from we're going to go to security options and we're going to select it and then be sure the naming scheme is accurate because it could be out of order that happens sometimes but regardless you're going to look for inactive where is it at inactive login and it's going to say don't display last sign in there it is right here and it says by default it's disabled so what we're going to do is go ahead and double tap it or you can if i'm correct you can just right click on it and go to properties it takes you to the same place and we're going to go ahead and press enabled apply and okay now when i probably if i'm correctly if i go ahead and sign out of this we're going to check and see if this policy has applied so let me go ahead and log out now the user is not there um, i'm going to go ahead and just type in user and i'm going to go ahead and type in my password and press enter and here we are pretty much logging back in all right I'm going to go ahead and just sign out again just to show you this. Um, this happens sometimes at schools if you have like this. So if an example, if your computer was joined in a domain, and then the little trick to get around this instead of typing the whole naming scheme, let's say if it was like something whatever school slash the name of user that's there, you pretty much would have to just if you want to get to local user to get to it, whatever the organization that's in there. Pretty much it was a work group, the name of the PC. So this was called admin PC user it kind of gets such a difficult to get to there for trying to look for a local user so to this easier I'm just going to type in dot slash and pretty much backslash is what it is we're going to type in this and we're going to go ahead and type in user and then the same thing we're going to do is go ahead and type in the same password what we got through there but this is what happens if we're looking for the local user and your computer is joining the domain and it will still get us to the same location too. That's just a little trick in case this does happen to some people out there. So we did that steps right there by pretty much going to local security policy. And we pretty much went to local policies and went to security options. And then we pretty much scrolled down until we saw enabled right here for don't display last sign in. I'm going to go ahead and press disable that. So now it should be pretty much be gone that hiding them. So the second option to do like this, in case you do not have a pro or in price, there's another way you can just still do this. It doesn't prevent you that it's not able to, but we're just going to use a different route going to reg edit. So just, you do need to have a minister rights again for this because you're kind of, you understand if you're a standard user, you have limitations there. So as we're going to see on the registry editor, from there, we're going to go to local machine and then we're going to go to software, then Microsoft, there it is. And then we're going to scroll down until you see Windows. And there's Windows right there. Then we're going to choose current version. I'm going to go ahead and slide this over a little bit. Then we're going to go to policy. I 
I think I just said there it is right there. Policy. So we're going to go to system. Once you get to system, if it does not show it here, you see this one currently shows us. That's a good thing. Don't display last username. If it was not there, I'm actually going to just go ahead and just delete this for you in case it's not there because this does happen that it doesn't exist. So what you're going to do is go ahead. If you don't have it, you're pretty much going to go to new and then create a new, if I'm correctly, a D word. And we're going to go ahead and name it. Um, don't display last user name. And this should be spelled correctly. And I think it is correct. And we're going to go ahead and just double tap this again. I'm going to change this by default. If I'm correctly, zero is enabled. So do not display last. So if I'm correctly zero, let's test this right now. We have zero on there. Don't display last username is right now enabled. If you want it to be disabled, we would choose one. Check that. For right now, we're going to go ahead and click on instead of zero. And we're going to go ahead and test this and see what it does. Depending on my need to change it. So let's give it a look. I'm going to go ahead and just sign out. Let's see, it's currently here, so maybe I should reverse it. Let's test this out. So, actually, I think it's inverse. I know this happens sometimes on rig edit when they do these things. Oh my gosh, reg edit. There we are. And we're going to go to the same location. And so I think we need to change this value currently to actually one for that to be active. So let's go ahead and test this again by signing out. I'm signing out right now. And here it is prompting us for the same other user again. So from there, I'm going to go ahead and type in again to get back on. And pretty much if you want that to come back in place, we're going to go ahead and go to rig edit again. And you'll probably be prompted. And it remembers what you're last at. If not, you would have to get to that same locations. But again, here it is. So don't display last username. I think the naming scheme on this is a little clever on this. Because it tells you like zero stands for to enable as it enable that it still wants to be able to see. Now we put it to one, disable that ability for to show the last username. So it's a little crossover on the naming schemes. So if you want it back to zero, you'll set it to there. I'm going to go ahead and just X this out. Sign out again, just to be sure. Right here. And here it is remembering the last user that was there. And that is pretty much it. Thank you for watching from Houghton's Computer Repair. Don't forget to check out our wonderful t-shirts that are for sale. We have them there on the end of this video. If you want to help us out, that would be great. But again, thank you for watching from Houghton's Computer Repair, and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching, guys. If you just like this video, then hit that button. But if you like it and you want to see more, hit that like button. Get subscribed, comment, and tell us what other tech videos you want to see. Consider checking out our merch store. Link in the video description. And for the rest, I will see you on the next video.